it is time. Hey guys, welcome to Galaxy Jams Reacts. We're here with Aaron Schaefer from No Simple Road Podcast. Thanks for joining us, Aaron. My pleasure, man. We're here on a lovely Sunday afternoon talking about psychedelic music when I thought I would bring probably the most popular psychedelic rock band right now. They're called Tame Impala. Are you familiar with Tame Impala? No, I've never heard of them. Oh my God, they are. It's a. Uh, oh, okay, great. Well, I don't know. You know, I mean, they're that big, right? So that's funny that you can say that because they are that big. So let's go back to his very first album, Inner Speaker. This is uh, one of my favorite songs by him. And I thought that we'd all enjoy listening to this together. So we're going to listen to Tame Impala with his 2010 song, Alter Ego. <laughs> Even the artwork is really cool. What was that? Did you say 2010? He said 2010. Yeah, I think this came out in 2010. This is what my notes say. I could be wrong. thinking right now about this song there's a quality to his music that is the same yesterday today and forever and i can't put my finger on it mm -hmm. it's like a far away it feels far away but it's right in the middle of my head at the same time <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. right and like <laughs> lyrically he's a genius man yes like, i agree with that it immediately brought me there like i could see laying on the floor super out of my head with my f wife and my buddy listening to this loving it mm -hmm. yeah a really good chill and then party song at the same time i also think that the way like, especially at the beginning, it was like this runaway train and how the vocals came in like almost late in a way. And it was like tripping over the song was like tripping over itself. Right. Like so eager to like get the message out, which I really, really liked. And just the fact that this guy, like, I think he did all the instruments and did all the writing. It's a solo, you know, project. 
Uh, it's just really, really fascinating, you know, which gives him really great, of course, control. And it's, you know, a give and take, but he does a great job with all the instruments and things like that, too. And the use of reverb that he's using to create that psychedelic sound, that kind of widespread atmosphere that you're hearing is uh, is a nice touch as well. And and his vocals kind of, when they came in, they kind of cut into that because it was almost getting, mm -hmm. like, so reverb -y, it was kind of, like, muddy. And then they came mm -hmm, in, and it was just, mm -hmm. like, boom, and tightened it all back up again. And uh, really, really did that. He's good at giving you that eureka moment where mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. jam bands like to do, where everything just gets all crazy, and then it's like, boom, they have like this moment of clarity where they something profound, where you know it's like lift off. And he's really, really good at giving people that in like a pop wrapped package almost. Great lyrics, great lyrics. Very unique. like so old and new at the same time yeah it just makes me feel like this is like if the Beatles and the Beach Boys took more acid than they, than they ever had taken at one time in their lifetime. This is what they would have written. It's like John Lennon in space. <laughs> it felt like updated within you and without you. Yeah. Yeah. With a little bit of pet... Ch pet uh, 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 what's the name of that beat, uh, Beach Boys? Pet Sounds. With a little bit of Pet Sounds. Because that reverb, they played with a lot yeah. of that in there. It was um, sweet. I kept thinking of that King Tubby song because I kept thinking mm -hmm. of the tools that he was using, you know, to augment the snare and then the vocals. And essentially, Tame Impala is like taking that like rudimentary technique and like totally taking it, you know, to the stratosphere. But it's still the same thing, right? Like when he was singing, like he was like his voice, he had this like reverb that was going like back and forth mm -hmm. and like it was doing this like you know, very, very interesting way of, like, augmenting, like, the sounds he already has in there with, like, after-production techniques. Right. But in, if you're paying attention, though, like, there's a lot of, a lot going on with the reverb and all that, mm -hmm. but behind all of it is right. this super smooth bass right. line that's happening oh, yeah. in the background. It's, like, so slinky and cool. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I loved it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's... Yeah, well done, man. I also liked how... The, even though there's so much going on and so many great moments, like everything like was all like put together, like sonically, like it was all mixed really, really good and nothing popped out unless like it was really meant to, which I really liked. like. Like I didn't have to struggle to hear, you know, every part of what I wanted to hear out of it. It was really well mixed. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that react video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button 
every single one helps.